So now I'm going to start my sewing by sewing down the Adrena board to my pink LED. So I'm going to start on the outside of my design. I'm going to work my way around. So I need to get a needle. Then I need to get my conductive thread and I'm going to try to get a rather long piece. Then I'm going to use my seam ripper. Next I'm going to end, put a knot on the end of this. I'm going to do it by twisting around my finger. And what I usually like to do is I like to roll the end. See how it kind of twists? And then it makes a nice little knot here at the end. I'm going to make sure that it's nice and tight. Okay, so there's my knot. Now I'm going to get my needle, kind of pull at the end of the thread to make sure it's nice and straight. Thread my needle. I have just a little excess of conductive thread on this end here. Now, um, like my design says, I'm going to use pin 4 and 2 for my pink lights, and I'm going to start by using pin 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go underneath my fabric. I'm going to actually do my first stitch away from the lily pad. And the reason why I do this is because on the opposite side of the fabric is my knot. And I'm actually going to be using fabric glue to glue this knot down and make sure that it doesn't fray. Alright, so now I'm going to just do one little stitch. And then this will go through pin 2. Okay. So you can see I have one stitch with my knot underneath and then going through pin 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on sewing through pin 2. So I'm sewing through the fabric, underneath the fabric, and then through the pin. And I'm going to do this several times to secure the board down, as well as secure the conductive thread to this pin.